New Zealanders and Australians are rushing to book flights now that a travel bubble between the two countries has been confirmed. The arrangement will allow Australians to enter New Zealand without quarantine or COVID-19 testing. It will begin in less than two weeks. More than a year after shutting its borders, New Zealand will allow Australians to enter quarantine free. New Zealanders have been allowed to visit Australia without isolating for months, but that arrangement hadn't been reciprocated until now. This is an important step forward in our COVID response and represents an arrangement I do not believe we have seen in any other part of the world. That is safely opening up international travel to another country while continuing to pursue a strategy of elimination and a commitment to keeping the virus out. The move is seen as a lifeline for the travel industry. Australians made up 40% of arrivals to New Zealand before the pandemic and thousands of air tickets were sold within hours of the announcement. Airlines are ramping up flights to cope with the pent-up demand. This uh, will mean, importantly, jobs for Australia. I've already made major announcements about our travel sector and uh, it is true that the Trans-Tasman route is one of the most busy in terms of volume. That means more planes in the air, it means more jobs on the ground and in the air as well for our airlines. Still, travellers have been told to be cautious. Authorities say the travel arrangement will be suspended if new flare-ups occur. I think it's worth waiting until the vaccine's more widely available and everyone's gotten it. I think I wouldn't feel safe travelling until then. Uh, it, it would just mean that my, my niece could come home. She's stuck there. She's been stuck there since Christmas. So that would be good. <laughs> Airport, the worst place to catch anything. So um, I wouldn't be keen on going to Australia. I I'm quite surprised that we are going um, to open a bubble, considering the conservative approach the government's taken so far. It just seems a little bit contradictory. This is the second quarantine-free travel arrangement to begin in the region. Taiwan opened up to the Pacific Island nation of Palau last week. 